Hello, thank you for stopping on by. I am so excited. Today I have a haul from Timo. And yay, I know that you may have seen different hauls in your timeline. So far, everyone that I've watched, we all have all picked out different things. So I think it's so interesting. I mean, they have so much stuff on there. And just to let you know, as we're going through the haul, if you see something that you're interested in, I do have a code link for you where you can save 30% off your first purchase. It is affiliate, so I'll earn a little something back. So thank you very much if you decide to go through there. And the brand, I was surprised actually to find out it was started in Boston, Massachusetts, here in the US in 2022. So it is a really new company. The name of it, you may wonder, like, how, what is that name? It means team up, price down. So, of course, we love that, right? What it is, is affordable products that you are getting direct from manufacturers or sellers. Now, let's go over. I'm going to sit on the floor over here because I have a lot of stuff and it might just, yeah, it'll be better over there. So, let's go over there. I got a couple bags. I'm going to take everything out so that it doesn't get noisy. And let's see how this stuff is with a couple household items. This is a portable and rechargeable battery juice blender. And I should have read closer <laughs> when I was ordering. I was thinking that this would be good for smoothies, but I'm not sure if the blade I think is gonna be like too small. It's mostly just for juices. So like orange juice to make apple juice. And then if you don't want like the pulp, it has this to where then that will catch it as you pour it out. So I don't know, I might try to see like, I've never had one of these before. I don't know if that's too small to make like a smoothie with yogurt and fruit, or if it's really just for juice, I'm not sure. So, but I've kind of wanted to try one of these little things, but yeah, and it's got a little carrying. Okay, so I'm happy with that. It's pretty lightweight. So if you have ever had if you have one of these and like you have any tips on using it or things to make, let me know down below. Now next up, I already actually put this together, but this is a three piece set. It came in a box. So you have the broom or the dustpan and it's on one of those poles. This is in three pieces so you can make it as tall or you know, if you wanted to make one of the other pieces shorter, you could do that. But they just screw together so if you do get this though at first i was like they're not holding but you got to screw them together and then you put the handle so here is that i will insert clips of using all of these so that you can actually see them because it's kind of hard to show it like this but and then here's the broom portion and again it and it came with a squeegee portion now i made the squeezy squeegee one shorter that way I could make the broom longer and not have to bend over as much. So yeah, I thought that I could just make the squeegee piece shorter. So this is only two pieces because I'm not gonna use this as much as the broom. So they don't seem, you know, like industrial or anything, but they seem pretty sturdy once you put them together. We'll see how they'll hold up. I will do an update on this stuff, but yeah, I was happy with that because I am always misplacing my dustpan. So I figured, if it's on a stick, maybe I won't. And at first I wasn't sure how to hang this because I have those hooks in my stairway going down to the basement and I thought, well, if I hang it like this. As I started to edit, I realized that my microphone had shut off in a couple spots. So I'm refilming some of this. That's why I have my hair up and I have this shirt on. Finishing talking about this broom and at first, I was going to hang it like this in the hallway to go down to my basement. I'll insert a picture. Then I thought, well, I'm going to knock into it. And duh. So I just flipped it upside down and then it's stored like this. So I won't knock into it. The other household item that I got was a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> this is the kind, this is how it came. And then there's the attachments that you put it together and then put it in there. So it, you know, it's a stick like that. And then you can have the end with this, or you can put this directly in there and so that it's like a handheld. 
this is what's on the end if you use these. So I've only used this once so far, just really quick. I got it out of the box and just wanted to try it. I have long, thick hair. I have a cat and my house, no matter how many times I dust it, for some reason it just gets dusty. For me, I think that, I mean, I'm gonna keep, you know, using it and I'll let you know, but I think that this I'm going to probably just use, I'm gonna see if this is okay to use on hardwood floors. And when I did use it for handheld, like along the baseboards, that worked good. So I'll definitely use it as a handheld vacuum. I don't know if I'm really going to use it. I don't think this isn't going to replace my normal vacuum because my normal vacuum is like the soft propelled one. And this one did kind of like you have to push it a little bit and it just got this isn't, you know, that big. So it got filled up pretty fast. And yeah, I think. Feel like maybe if you have high traffic areas probably not the best to use this one so so far i'll let you know like i said but so far i think that this will be more like a handheld one for me like a little mini dirt devil type thing i did get some nail items these are the nail stickers and i've used quite a few different kinds of these so i'll definitely be able to compare them and see what i think this is an example you know of why their prices can be cheaper you don't have any of the outside packaging, the brand name. This isn't in a store with an overhead. But yeah, I thought that those were a pretty, pretty one to pick out. And then I got, this is the false nails. So you get the little adhesive that you put on. A lot of times in the, not obviously this one I haven't tried, I like to add a little drop of glue in addition to these just to make them, you know, last a little bit longer cuticle stick, nail file, and the ones that I picked, um, let's see, okay, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spill those. There's a couple nails that have a 3D little bow, and I've never had nails that had like the lifted, you know, a 3D thing like that. I think that I'm gonna have to try these before I try the nail strips because I'm just kind of excited. Luckily, I have nail strips on right now and they're, outgrowing so it's time to do my nails so yeah I'm excited about those and I did get a couple hair tie or a couple hair accessories this is just you know like kind of the clip like that figure you can always use hair accessories now is when I noticed when I was originally filming I noticed that my mic was off and I turned it back on so now let's come back to that then I have this is a silicone reusable pouch that they showed it with food in it, but I figure this, I'm not sure exactly what I'll use it for, but I thought it would be, I could have a multiple, multiple uses for this. And this, this is a small thing, but I was very excited about this because I have not seen this before. Granted, I haven't really looked for this because I didn't know it existed, but now that I do, I think that this is going to be, I'm hoping that this will work good because when you're on your computer, you know how there's a lot of the like armrest things that you can get that are attached with a mouse pad, or if they're separate, I feel like they move around a lot, and I've just never had good success at finding one that I like. This one is attached to like a scrunchie. So you put it on like that, and then that way you can work on your computer, and you have that protectiveness, you know, for your wrist, and your wrist is where it should be, but the thing isn't sliding all around, and yeah, I just, I think that's really cool. Have you ever seen anything like that? And I do own my own business. I do reselling on the side. I was actually thinking about ordering more thank you notes because I sell, resell a lot of clothes and I put them in a bag and then seal them with the thank you sticker. So I was really excited when an option that I could pick was a thank you sticker. It look like a makeup brush. This one, see, it looks sleek. Here is, it's a foundation brush. It feels pretty soft. And I, you probably won't be able to see it, but it has like little, four little holes almost in it. I don't think that you can see them, but there's like four. It says it's refillable. So it comes apart like this. I guess you put the foundation in here, then you put this back in here, screw on the brush, and then I'm assuming 
yeah, then you push this and it's going to push the foundation out of here. If nothing else, even if that like part doesn't work, I thought, well, I can always use more brushes, even though I don't really need them. But, and I liked that it looked like it was on an angle. So I thought, you know, it could always be like for a concealer or kind of touch up. So if nothing else, it's a makeup brush. But if it's refillable and that kind of thing works out, I think that's cool. I have clothes. Oh, I have one more household item. I gotta go get that. It came in a separate bag. These are some makeup powder puffs. Oh, they're soft. I wasn't sure what to expect. You could get, they have different colors. Ooh, these feel really soft. So that is how big they are. And then yeah, you put your hands like that and then you can just dab on there get in here so oh right these are super super soft there's three of those in there our makeup sponges look at the cute little package or the cute little holder that it came in okay so these are the like rubberized if you've ever got a uh, like cushion foundation and how the sponges that usually come with the cushion foundation that's what these feel like and they have that there's three round ones and then this one seems a little odd shaped. Not quite triangle, but it's got a little point to it. These two have a little bit more of a point than the other one. And then this one is definitely more of a triangle. I'm okay, we're gonna test these out and see. What are you thinking so far? Do you have a favorite thing so far? All right, <laughs> this one looked kind of funny in the picture. <laughs> I will show you. It's a V face mask. It comes in a little zippered thing or a little reusable pouch. This is supposed to physically thin face, delicate little face to reduce wrinkles. Go on, I have makeup on so I'm not gonna do it, but go on and then I think you Velcro it on top and it's supposed to help get rid of this. <laughs> it says to wear two hours per day. This is the silicone, a double the absorption of your mask. I've seen other people talk about these. So you put on your face mask and then you put this on it. Here's what that looks like. So, you know, after you put on your mask, then you can put this on. So if you have a mask that kind of like is gonna fall around or isn't as tight fitting or you wanna walk around and you have it on. Of course, talking about masking, this is a mask brush. It is a silicone flat top. So it's supposed to be good to put on your face mask so you don't have to dip your hands and stuff or get your hands all dirty if it's like a clay or mud mask. So yay. I got a shirt and I did go up a size in these. Another example, like this is coming probably just straight from the manufacturer or the supplier. There is no brand name on here. So this stuff is before it actually gets the label and all the hang tags and all that stuff put into it that ends up costing more. This is flannel. It, yeah, it kind of feels, it's not as soft as some. And yes, editing Stacy is back. Once again, my mic shut off. Since I'm in a different like setup here, I didn't realize I had to keep watching it. It's actually pretty soft. It's not like the fuzzy flannel, but it is pretty soft. I got a, I normally wear an extra large and I got a 3X just because I wanted it to be more big than small and I wasn't sure how they'd fit. If I have it down, I'll show you that in the pictures, but it's a little long, so I'm going to just kind of, you know, roll, have it rolled up like that, but I like that. It's very comfortable and yeah, I'm happy with this one. The other clothing items is I got a two piece kind of like track, track suit and this is really comfortable. Black shirt, white striped, and then there's the sleeves. And then we got pants to match. And just normal legs, elastic waist. And then we got some PJs. Now these, they still feel soft, but not quite as soft as those. I'm thinking that after a wash, these are gonna soften up though. They're just they're not really, I wouldn't even say they're stiff, but just compared to this shirt and that. It's a polyester cotton blend, black and white button, and there's two little pockets there, then the pants, and elastic waist. Okay, now back to the original filming. And then a hair clip, or a claw. 
Okay, so here is what that looks like. This feels like it has some sturdiness to it. You know, I've gotten some at the dollar store and actually this feels more sturdy than those. Oh yeah, I mean, I look like a rooster, kind of crazy. But if you have thick hair, you know what I'm talking about when sometimes you put them in and you're like, mm, that's not gonna hold. This feels like it has some grip to it. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing before I show you these wigs because I've been having so much fun. If you're new to my channel, I've been having so much fun with wigs and I got a couple more, but let me show you one more thing. I was trying to get this out of the bag that it came in so that I could avoid the noise. What I didn't realize it was it was gonna pop open and I can't figure out now how to get it back. But when I first opened this, it was just a small disc and then it like popped open to be bigger like this. The reason that I got this and then this kind of moves so you can hang it. The reason I got this was I thought that this would be number one, good for laundry. And I don't think that you could you know, like fit a sweater in here because the opening isn't like really all that big, but you know, like a shirt or something that you want to lay flat, some shorts or something. But the main reason that I thought that this would be good for is drying makeup brushes and makeup sponges. I mean, how awesome is that? How if you want them laying flat, I mean, I know like sometimes you're supposed to have them, you know, hanging down, but sometimes some of the makeup brushes I just lay flat or with the beauty sponges and you could just put them in here and then maybe if you wanted to put a shirt on top or something I just thought that that was cool my only thing is I can't figure out how to get it back so we're just gonna leave it like this and two wigs this one feels really nice feels very good quality the fibers feel really, really nice. You know, it has the back, it has the adjustable straps, the ear tabs, and then, oh, okay, this, I think it's called, I'm learning my lingo, but I think it's called monofilament. I'll have to double check, but where it has that portion, because then it looks like an actual, like, real scalp. Now this one, this one doesn't feel quite as nice. This one definitely feels nicer. This one feels a little bit more coarse, not quite as, just not quite as nice. <laughs> we have, this is the shortest wig that I've ever gotten. Um, we have the back is like that. You got the adjustable straps, the ear tabs, and then you have this portion. And so yeah, this looks like the cap construction looks good. Wow. That is really short. Okay, we're gonna have to see what we can do with this. You're supposed to shake them out. You wanna see them on, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so the thing that I have learned about wigs is they're not always what they seem when you first put them on because this looks like a little crazy. It is too short. I think the cap is too small. So I do have a kind of block head that can stretch that I can put wigs on to stretch them out. So I think I'm gonna have to do that with this one and then use some product because it seemed like I was trying to get it to go up and like fluff up. I've never had hair this short and it seemed like I was kind of getting it to look better but then it would fall. So we're gonna play with this one. I'm not, it looks a little nuts, I know. I'm not gonna give up on it though yet, um, but it needs it leaves a little bit to be desired right now but yeah I've watched a lot of wig reviews recently on YouTube and all the wig ladies say you know that some of them are gonna be okay right out of the box but some of them you're gonna need to work on and I think this is one of those that I'm gonna need to work on so we're not giving up on it but let me put on the other one all right so I just put this one on this one I think I'm going to like it's a little bit Dark, but I think it's okay and I need to get um, a cool hot tools curling iron it's like just an airbrush one but it's cool air so that I don't ruin the wig that way because the bangs are a little bit long but I think that it's gonna I mean this is just straight putting it on not fussing with it at all doing anything with it at all 
So I think that this one is going to be a winner. What do you think? Thank you so much to Timo for reaching out and letting me try all this stuff. I'm so excited and I definitely, I think I'm going to do some more shopping. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, yes, let me know. Did you have a favorite item? If you want to see how they hold up and me trying the beauty products, then make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out when those videos come. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a good day and that you'll come on back and see me. Thanks. Bye.